So, as I was saying previously, so, we tried streaming. Didn't work. We tried reinstalling everything from the ground up and putting our mods in that way. Didn't work. So, yesterday what I tried was just playing the game without all of the, uh, all the connections and all the whatnot and whatnot and madness. And there was some stuttering, but it was very minor. Like half a second and it was gone. So it was functionally, quantifiably better. And it's just proof that I cannot stream Fallout 4. However, I did encounter other problems. As I mentioned previously, this little green segment on the timeline didn't record my microphone audio. Record the game audio, but not my microphone audio. And what I also discovered while recording it is that, you know, well, you guys know this fans long enough. You know I tend to get distracted. I'll, I'll start off on a topic, and I'll get distracted, and I'll pick up the topic later. So, um, and I was finding that while I was editing this, that I would be going off on a to uh, tangent, a topic, while sorting inventory before heading out into the wasteland. And no one's really going to want to watch you sorting inventory, even if they like the commentary you're saying. So, uh, with the fact that uh, the all-in-one software I'm using, which is Plays.tv from Radeon, uh, from AMD, was missing out of my audio, and the fact that it, I can't really control the audio in that degree, since I'm doing this all offline, I figure what I'm going to do for Episode 4, when I get around to Episode 4, is that I'll record the gameplay like with Plays.tv like I normally did like I did for episode 3. But for my actual audio, I'll be recording that through Audacity separately. And so that way, I can place my commentary... I mean, my commentary will be more or less synced up, but, you know, there's going to be points where I just where there's just dead air, there's nothing for me to talk about. And I can, you know, if I bring up a topic or whatever, I can insert that into the more calm portions of the video, and that way I can properly just edit out anything that has to do with inventory management making a much more smoother situation. Now, of course, I have to edit this. I have done some basic editing, clipping out some of the stuff from the inventory, but we still got to sort through this thing. We still got to look through this thing. And basically, what I'm going to be focusing here in this editing segment, editing show we're going to be doing here, is I'm going to be looking for areas within the video where there's a mod being showcased, and then basically put up titles to point out where the mods are, like I was originally doing with, yeah, what I originally was doing with, uh, well, I guess Skyrim Special Edition, I think. I don't think I really did any of the mod showcasing stuff in Fallout 4. Since the actual video, when I upload it, it's not going to have my webcam down the side, it's just going to have the raw footage. Um, yeah. Try something a little bit different with this one, since we can't do the live stream type of style for Fallout 4. Dive to deep. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And, as I said before, we are testing to get full out working at peak efficiency. I would be trying to see if, uh, it's just, I can't, it's a game I can't stream for whatever reason. Also installed a, uh, how good is this? Damn, I don't have a lot of. Oh, sorry, I, I got completely off track, didn't I? See. Um, yes, so I was, I was saying, so in my attempt to see if I just, for whatever reason, cannot stream Fallout with all the other stuff. Now, of course, those of you actually watching this episode might notice the fact that there is, well, no webcam, which is on the... So that's why I shrank the uh, actual gameplay window issues we were having before. Ton of resources. I could just scrap sanctuary. <laughs> oh, you gotta love that texture load bug. 
I, it's actually the, the, the purple load video. bug I had through this entire episode up until my uh, foot, up until Fallout crash. And then when oh, I went in to do the, the final segment, uh, the texture load bug wasn't yeah, there. So it wasn't having to do with my mods. It was just, chemistry bench. for some reason, it was chemistry a bench bad over gameplay. Here. That audio do you think, though? That's another advantage of splitting my audio between my own voice and the gameplay. If the audio gets desynced in the gameplay, I can kind of just cut and tweak and adjust it. And I'll have the circuitry of the Wonder Glue. Definitely gonna have to set up the fly lines, I think. And with that in mind, we'll have to keep our eye. Alright, so this is a key point. Let me put a Q marker? Never use Q markers. Um So it's going to the key marker, okay. The effect, routing, wrapping. Now let's see. I actually want to do Title, roll, crawl. Two tone center box. Right info pane. LH box looks promising. Let me add another video track. Now if I go to VHS, VFX. to control all of the no can I lock these and do a trim? End marker there. Put a start marker here. Put it here. Can I say remove all that? No. Can that work? I 
go here, an end marker here, go over here. Okay, that works. I've never really done much with light waves, so I'm a little bit of a noob to it. But that looks like it's viable for doing VFX. Go here, remove place with black. And there's no overlays here. If we go here. And out marker. Go back over here. Place with black. And just cut that out. How long will that actually play for? Oh, I like this one. With that in mind, we'll have to keep our eyes out for cars that are semi intact. Oh, I like this one. Seems like a decent amount of time. Turn those off for the moment. Place an in marker here. And we want to do place a black. I guess an in marker here. I want to zoom out all the way over here. Place our out marker. And that's where we do the remove and replace with black. Can jump over to the clip. Good. I can save. All right. So Vehicle salvage. So we peel that one tab off, thank over here I put the information in. Vehicle salvage by Spligdemus. Probably don't need the HTTP www. Size a bit smaller. Not terribly smaller though.
Blue Highway. Okay, let's uh, get this a bit bigger. That seems like a good size. All right. Is it possible to actually save this as a template? No, it doesn't look like it. bummer. else seems fine. Hope to keep our eyes out for cars that are semi intact. So they've still got the paint on them, I can salvage them basically. Yeah. Is that one of the garbage trucks? Coolant steel. Oh, I am liking this. It is so simple. I don't know why I didn't install this odd mod earlier. It's just, it works so perfectly, doesn't it? Counter one. So we're going to need another title for that.
by the logo. So if I actually can import my logo. logo. Can I scale it down? What else can we do here? Oh, I'm used to messing with this stuff. All right. Let's move that up. Let's scale it down about there, because that should be more than sufficient in terms of uh, speed.
It worked. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So I can also do an out effect, maybe a fade. That should be fine. The same thing on to headings. Can't do anything to the logo. There. Can't do anything there. I should be able to save this as a template, but it doesn't look like one wants to let me. can make things very unfun. Step number one. Correctly, there is a rather interesting little bit of mod stuff here. Ooh, boy. <clears throat> you hear about that farm run by ghouls? <laughs> Isn't that something? Okay. That lady did not have a good run of luck, did she? Yeah? You seem to be intact. How about you? <coughs> Hi, how are you? Well, he's got all his limbs. I'm gonna call that... Yeah, it's around here, isn't it? I think. Let's put a marker in here. Say green, we'll call this one. Ugh, I'm gonna be sick. Jump back 
to that click point. This is a very finicky program, but I can work with it. I should be able to put this here. Yeah, I can put it there. Now. I have my mouse here. I got a VFX. FX2, okay. Let's just try removing the V and see. Vehicle salvage. Okay, so that's treating it as a completely separate entity. Good, good. That's what I want. And we want for this one. I feel like this is superfluous. With another mod I have.
this one we just need that block. Over here, we have the death counter coming into play. Ah, I'm getting the hang of it. So it certainly makes Sentai Sins a lot easier to do. I'll tell you that. Because, <sighs> you know, I've been functioning with that Premiere for a while. could work with that. Run. Oh, here's another one. Need to lock that. I need to lock this, this, this. you.
serious headache. I'm not sure if I can actually do what I want to do. It is just so damn finicky. Okay. What are my alternate alternative plans? Because this is not working. This is not working by any stretch of the imagination. <sighs> so, so finicky. Let's try this again. Copy. The audio, I just want to actually copy the video to FX tracks.
about that farm run by ghouls? <laughs> Isn't that something? Okay. What are you doing? Of course not. Should be incredibly easy, but it's not. It should be the basic functionality of a damned video editing program. And it's just not. Listen, I just can't find a freaking viable video editor. Open shoot was crap. <sighs> Lightworks has a bunch of stuff locked behind a paywall.
CSC seems to be pretty promising. I think I will call it here, folks. As you can see, this is being a giant headache. Give VDSC a try. If that's any more viable. Uh, uh. <sighs> Seriously, light work. Why is it so hard to copy a clip? I can edit the copy. <laughs> 